put it in my hand like boop. What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another video. All right, so I have these five clips in the timeline. They're pretty much still images. Make each clip about 15 frames long. So right now this one is 10 frames. So there's a quick trick for that. If you go to the beginning of their clip and you press shift right on the arrow key, this will take you 10 frames and then make it 15 frames. So from 10, we go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So here's 15 frames. And you just want to do that for each one. You can just drag the clip like this and expand it and just do the same thing. Okay. So I just made each clip 15 frames long. So it's going to look something like this. Now what you want to do is go to the end of the first clip and go three frames to the left. So one, two, three. Then press Command B to split the clip. Select the shorter clip and hold Option, drag upwards to duplicate the same clip. And then you want to go over to the color tab over here, and there should be no corrections. If there is one, just create a new one and go to color board. And at the beginning here, what you want to do is go under the exposure tab, under midtones and highlights. We're going to start this off at 25% for both. So type in 25. And oh my gosh, I can't type. There we go, 25%. Okay, so make sure to make the midtones and the highlights 25% both. And then go to the, make sure you add a keyframe now. So just add a keyframe so you don't forget. And then move the playhead to the right one frame and then increase the midtones to 50%. So we're just increasing the percentage 25%. And then do the same thing, press right on the arrow key. And on the third frame, you're gonna type in 75%. Okay, so make sure it's 75. So type in 75, press enter. And on the last frame, you don't need to do anything else. So it should look something like this. Just gonna create a quick little flash. And on the second clip here, what you wanna do is go three frames to the right as well. So we're just splitting the clips from the front and the end to three frames. So one, two, three, press command B, hold option and drag upwards. And at the beginning of that clip, we're going to add a new color board correction at a keyframe under midtones, type in 75% this time. And again, move it to the right, second frame on that one or keyframe, and we're going to type in 50%. So we're now we're decreasing the amount under exposure. And on the third frame, we're going to type in 25% and press enter. So now it's going to look like this. It's going to create a smoother flash effect. Now that we have that, we're going to select the first clip and go over to the effects, go to blur, and I have handheld in the search here, but just go over to blur. And once you are under the blur, under the effects, add the directional blur onto that. And we're going to go over to the inspector tab and we're gonna create a shape mask because we don't wanna affect the entire image. We only want to affect the area that is changing. And in this case, it's the car and the people in it. So something like this and increase the feather. So it softens the edge. So something like this. And then I'm going to then increase. I'm going to click on done and I'm going to click on directional and I'm going to increase the blur or something more subtle. I'm going to go a little more subtle, kind of like that. Now, what we want to do is do the same thing. So select the second clip here, add a directional blur onto that one as well. Add a sheet mask. And here you can just expand it out like that so it covers your next clip here under directional we want to increase this as well so it should look something like this you could of course select the first clip press command c select the, the second clip and press shift command v and you could have just selected the directional if you want to copy the same exact settings from that clip onto the new one. That's what we're going to be doing for the rest of these clips. So now we have that, it's going to look like this. And on the second clip, which is this one, we're going to go to the end of that one and go three frames to the left. So one, two, three, press command B, hold option, drag upwards, and this will just do the same effect. So on the first one here, press command C. On this second clip, we're just going to paste the same attributes. So shift command V and we can just click on paste. That's all we gotta do. Again, the only thing we do need to change is the shape mask location. So click on this button here and move this and change the size if you need to and click on done. And then on that second or third clip at the beginning of that one, we're gonna go three frames. So one, two, three, split it, duplicate it, and then just copy over the effects onto the next one. So click paste and just move over the shape mask increase the size and the feather if needed. All right guys, so I just finished doing the same exact process for the rest of the clips. The same thing, you're just going over and over and over again for each of the clips. Once you're finished, it should look something like this with the 15 frames. And if you've kept the your camera in the same location, they shouldn't move too much. What you're gonna do now is select all the clips in the timeline, press option G or right click and go to new compound clip, group them together. I'm gonna name this main effect new and click okay. This acts as one clip now. And what we wanna do is go over to the effects, 
go under the uh, all section here and just type in handheld this time. We're going to be adding a handheld effect so we can create that fake movement effect. So just increase the distance, decrease the shakiness. So something like this could look fine, very subtle. But if you want it to be a little more dramatic, you can increase it like that. So it's a bit noticeable. And then lastly, we're going to go over to the crop and under the it's under this here, it's under the transform, just click on crop. And next to the crop and trim, you're going to click on Ken Burns. Make sure the green start rectangle is on the actual edge in the smaller rectangle is the end point. So hold option and click on one of the corners to keep it from moving like this. Hold option and I'm going to make it like this. I'm going to click done. And if I push play, it's going to look something like that. And of course, to make this transition come all together, I'm going to add the scribble film meters for my scribble film leader pack. Link is in the description. If you guys want to get that one, I also have a free sample pack. If you guys want to try it out before getting the full pack, which does include sound effects, by the way, if I push play, it looks just like this. Very, very cool. And they are, of course, drag and drop. So no need to install this whatsoever. And it also works in Adobe Premiere Pro, Filmora, Final Cut Pro 10, Adobe Premiere Pro, and so much more. This is the main effect. And if you want to make this go a little faster, just press Command R. And you can always make this shorter to make it look like this. And of course, add in the sound effects for the scribble film meters, and it's going to look absolutely insane. So if you found this video helpful whatsoever, please consider leaving a like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.